Hi guys, welcome back to the Star Wars figure review. Next video we're going to take a look at another figure that has been recently reissued this year as part of the 40th anniversary collection of The Empire Strikes Back. And that is this character here, Forlorn the Bounty Hunter. Now before we look at him, we'll take a look at the packaging this one came in. So this is the classic Black Series packaging. The 40th anniversary style packaging was released as a two-pack set which came with Forlorn and Zuckus. This is a obviously a tribute to the originally issued Forlorn and Zuckus 2-pack which was released in 1984 to coincide with The Empire Strikes Back. And these two are of course seen together in, in The Empire Strikes Back during Vader's briefing scene. Now I did a review of Zuckus last year so I'll leave a, a link to where you can see that video down in the description or up there if it'll come up there. But we do have, I do also have this one of Fallon which I haven't done yet, so I thought I'd run down this one as part of that. I'll give you a quick look at the back there, with the Gregory Titus artwork of the Bounty Hunter droid. You can read that description, if you like. So that's kind of what he is there, from what you know from him. Because Fallon is very much a sort of, he's a long series at protocol droid, so it's like a different kind of protocol droid to C-3PO, but is reprogrammed to act in a bounty hunter sense and that's what he is so I mean this is this is a great figure in all like and I know you can't see this on the camera you can only just see this on the camera but there's actually green shades coming through the lights of the inside of his head on the droid which is amazing like Hasbro just going in with making this figure look really really good and the protocol droid detail because this, this droid isn't the same as C-3PO so is a very different style they're going for. Uh, he's one of only three protocol droids to have been released in the line, the other two being C-3PO who's been released four times I believe now and Triple Zero from the Darth Vader comic series. But he does come with his blaster, so his big rifle gun. Uh, I don't remember the name for this one so I'll have to caption it and yeah I'll caption it so you can see it. You can easily position it in his hands if you so wish and have him holding it as though he's in action. Of course when he was in, when you do see him in the Empire Strikes Back he was in the pose he was in earlier holding the gun facing downwards. I'll give a quick rundown of the articulation as well. He's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, a uh, swivel at the, at, the, at the arm here to sort of move around the arm. This was something that they've corrected from the previous original C-3PO figures because the ones that were released for the episode 4 and episode 7 theme the arms weren't articulated at all so they've sort of fixed that by giving a, a, a swivel here at this part of the arm and then giving the elbow the stretch out bullet. They corrected this with the Babu Frick C-3PO and the one that came as a two pack with Chewbacca so that's a good one to have there. You got swivel wrists, a ball jointed torso, uh, ball hinged hips, they're fairly limited due to the joints the, ro the droid parts there, uh, hinges at the knees and a ball joint rocker at the ankle so it's like a slightly improved original C-3PO, I don't yet have the Babu Frick one so I can't uh, do a comparison with that one on screen so yeah but this this one's, this one, this is a good bounty hunter addition to the collection and as I said there he's part of a two pack with Zuckus which I shall leave a link to in the description below, I'm not sure whether this that thing's in stock as star action figures right now but this one really holds up well as being a figure from the Empire uh, a character from the Empire Strikes Back to get in the Black Series collection I think I initially got him just to sort of complete the set of bounty hunters that I've got because I've got all I've got all six of them so I like and I've reviewed as of this one I'll have reviewed four of them so I've, I'm giving the possible chance I'll just review the other two to line it up to li <laughs> line it all off because because like I said I've got it all I might as well and it's yeah I can't I can't give this figure praise enough I don't know too much about him having not read into much of his expanded universe material because I know he's in a book uh, there was a book called Tales of the Bounty Hunters that was a legends book and I know he's he's being slowly re readjusted into canon with Zuckus in comic books so that should be really good I'll give you a look at the back of the figure as well as you can see it's a similar it's a the, the back of it basically like a the body of C-3PO at the back, the back of C-3PO just the paint has been re reassigned, the arms as well, like the arms and the back are just basically C-3PO's just redone, it's the same with the legs as well as aside from the chest and the head it's very much different to the classic 3PO human cyborg relations 
droid as opposed to this one that is from the bounty hunter side of things. But like I said, it does go really well with Zucker because I'll put them up on the side there because they're stationed together as as once again they they're seen together during the meeting scene and then you don't really see them much of them after that in the move as far as the movies are concerned. But he's re he's a great figure to have as part of that two pack set. But yeah, that's a that's a good review of Fallen. I'll give you a full look at some of the detail on the figure there. Like really some of that. Making it look like it does in the film. I'll just take the blaster out again. Because it, it can position nicely in. But with the articulation it's kind of hard to get a good pose. Of him sort of in action. While holding it with both hands. But I'll just quickly do this. There we go. There, she sort of holds it like that. So yeah, that that that's the one downside problem to it, is basically posing it like that, which is why I pose him in his meeting pose. But the the like I said once again, the like even on the inside of the neck there, I might not be able to see it too well. But inside the neck there, you can see some of the green sort of stuff they've put on the inside to make the to make the eyes like light up. Now they don't they don't glow in the dark, so that's the uh, that's a shame. It's probably just as well they don't. But yeah, that's that's not too much of a deal. But it's a great, it's a great figure altogether. Like I said, I'll put a link down to where the two pack should be available of Fall on Zuckus, as well as the original character itself, so you can see where you can buy it for yourself and see what you think of it. But yeah, that is that's Fall on from the Black series. So I've enjoyed looking at him, and I'll be back with the other two bounty hunters very soon. So do stay, do keep a lookout for those, and. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.